update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 216, NASDAQ off 92, S&P's down 26. Gold, gold contract traded up uh, $1.90, $17.05 an ounce. We had silver up a uh, penny at $18.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $4.60, $102.19 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down eight ticks at 118.12. The 30-year off full point at 132.02 in King Dollar. King dollar down 645 ticks at 107,419. Euro 101, 101. Yen at 138. And the British pound 119 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the market, folks. You get a market that couldn't hold price out here. We take a look at the SPY. SPY tried to get into its swing point. Doesn't have enough volume. 59 million shares traded. Um, we'll see if this uh, wants to just fill the gap. You know, on, the sp on the SPY, you have about 379. Zero four. We closed at 382. We made it to 3866. Uh, my take is that we're just filling this, you know, backing and filling this up to basically get over the swing. The swing we're talk talking about here, the first swing is uh, 393. I suspect that this rally is going to go up to this 417 area. And the 417 area in general, let's just see what that is. It's just about a 50% retracement of the downdraft. That's what the 417 is. We had to go look at the NDX 100. The NDX 100 set up the same deal. Couldn't hold price out here. NDX 3Qs got up to 296, closed at 289. Uh, the top of the gap is 287.56, and we hit 288.20. So I wouldn't doubt it that you could do this tonight, hit it intraday. Um, the NQs look to me like they're going to lead us uh, uh, lead us into the bounce also. Uh, the bottom line is that the, it's the 296.75. It's not a lot of volume there, 59 million. That won't be hard to take out, and I expect uh, those will also run up to the uh, price point here of 314. Um, that's the benchmark. The benchmark that you're looking at in all of these folks is the high that was generated uh, like June 2nd. And what it's going to be about is this good old U.S. dollar. Uh, so we'll see whether it gets some follow through overnight. Uh, bottom line, the, the market had some breathing room today and didn't take it, man. <laughs> That's the bottom line. That being said, though, as I said when I was on the air, it's very unusual when you can have Europe stay up, which they did, and we give it up in spades. So my take, Turnaround Tuesday is coming at you. Get ready for it, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.